guys welcome back to lion mark tv market with another exciting delight in a much interesting video so this one is actually coming from silver bed man of the year award which happened yesterday at the echo hotel and convention in lagos nigeria it was such an amazing time out there as yes even the epis won massively big with his team alan onyema the ceo of epis was there live at this particular one Anyway, Ben Murray Bruce, um, Linda KG, Funke Akindele, other top celebrities and um, yeah, entertainers won big from this one. Yes, Epis gave a very resounding speech and also gave out free tickets, F -A tickets to some of the winners. Here's the video. Don't forget to subscribe. It's Ben Bruce. I think I'm seeing. I saw Ben Murray the other time. Oh, no, not him. Um, the Deputy Governor of River State, I will not forget that uh, the Vice Chairman of the NBC is here, my wife, Alice. <laughs> Please, allow me to stand on the existing protocol. Sometime last year, uh, I received, was it last year or two years ago? Two years ago, yes, I received the Man of the Year Award from Silverman. And some of you who have been privileged to receive uh, the Silverman Award, you have to work tall because it is not one of those awards that are bought with uh, money. When you receive it, it comes with a lot of recognition and acclaim. What do you have to say? Thank you, yeah, if, you God bless. if you don't have pizza, they will take your details uh, you come to the office tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow so that the people are just in the back and you are to the office. Go in Tampa. Go in Tampa. I'm not going to pass on to you. 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 None of you. Anyway, we put conditions there. We put your passport where you land. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for letting me take a picture with you. Thank you. Thank you. At that point in time, we're spending such a high amount of money on recurrent expenditure, very little amount of capital. Now we're paying the price of taking these loans and, uh, and we're in trouble. I just have five key points that I want to raise. I think Nigeria should be a construction site. For us to be a construction site, we have 22 million home deficit for our people. We need to build 22 million homes today to catch up with the deficit we have for over 200 million people. I propose we build a million homes every two or three years. 
financed by our banks, supported by local construction companies, and the mortgages provided from funds uh, from um, um, pension funds. If we do that, we can turn Nigeria into a construction site. We will create 8 million jobs and we would have about a, bit, a trillion naira in VAT taxes for the federal government. It is the only way we can get out there. The government should not build houses. The private sector should, funded by the banks and the loans from the pension fund. The second issue is aviation. You heard Mr. Yama talk about the difficulty he's had running MPs. As a child, I flew Nigeria Airways. Then I flew Virgin Nigeria. Then I flew Nigeria was a lot different from what it is today. He came to Lagos, flew to South Africa, set up office, and created the 100 MTV. He's a great guy on YouTube today, but, but, but understand what he did. He made a difference in the entertainment industry. When he came to Nigeria as a staff of Viacom, CBS, MTV, BET, and the gang, the average artist could barely buy a car and live in a rented apartment across Africa. By the time he left, African artists could live in the Beverly Hills of Africa, they could drive Rolls Royce, they could drive Ferraris. Wow. I don't know how to follow that. Um, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, all protocol observed. Um, first of all, I'm very humble and thankful and grateful for this amazing award. I really want to thank the Silverberg Group, but most importantly, this man, the man himself, the visionary, the legend, my mentor, my friend. Thank you so much. This room, what you were seeing as well was what he turned nightclubbing into. Just put your hands together for him again. Nightclub Coliseum. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, I'm humbled in this uh, award, but I have to thank uh, Senator Ben Bruce and the Silver Bell Group for giving me this award. I only have something to say. I played my part, I've retired now. I hope gracefully. And uh, I leave the stage for the younger ones too. <laughs> Chief Ephraim Fellow, we came all the way from, what do you call it now, from Bayelsa. He turned 80. How many days ago now? We're going to end it up in Yoruba. Um, uh, Silverberg, thank you so much for this honor. Thank you for the uh, recognition. I don't know if, the, I mean, Silverberg and I have come a long way. I don't even remember me. But I started my professional career with Silverberg as a model about 26 years ago. So it feels amazing to be standing here so many years later to be recognized by the same uh, organization that started my uh, professional career for me. Thank you so much. I feel honored. I feel... Uh, um, thank you for the recognition. I really appreciate it. Good evening, Uncle, <laughs> Chairman Silverberg Group. Good evening, all protocols to be observed. I feel so honored tonight. For the first time, I stood smiling, watching myself being celebrated. Thank you so much, Silverberg. I want to say a big thank you.
to my fans because my fans got this. Two, four, seven. You know, it's like I have a way of calling them and they answer. So to all my fans watching this right now, this is for you. I want to say a big thank you to all the cast and crew members of the three biggest films, highest grossing films in Hollywood, from Omogeto the Saga to Battle of Booker Street, and now A Tribe Called Judah. Thank you so much. And to all who believed in me, that have supported the brand over the years, thank you, this is for you. I love what you said Ladies and gentlemen, permit me at this time to... ...infinity and bridging the gap between the generations. It's such a lovely thing to see. And so on behalf of one of the year awards, Good evening, everyone. Uh, on behalf of Tundia and Nott, um, first of all, I want to say thank you to Senator Ben Bruce for this opportunity. And I also want to say thank you for Silverbird Man of the Year and the Silverbird Group as a well. whole.